Hello friends, current version of the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam, which is CLF C01, would be changing to a newer version soon, which is CLF C02. This change is effective from September 19th, so you still have some time to plan if you want to give the current version or the new version of exam. Let's now look at what is changing in the newer version of the exam. This is overall what is changing, which I have tried to sum up in this diagram. As you can see, the current version is CLFC01 and the newer versions version will be called as CLFC02. Uh, you can attempt CLFC01 till September 18, 2023. Uh, but if you are attempting from September 19, 2023, you will be attempting CLFC02. The first two domains, which are cloud concepts and security and compliance are still the same. However, the weightage to those domains has changed slightly. Cloud concept weightage has reduced to 24% as compared to earlier 26%, whereas the weightage for uh, security has now increased to 30% as compared to the 25% earlier which shouldn't be a surprise given the increasing importance of security in this ever-evolving cloud computing world. Now, the domain three has been renamed from technology to cloud technology and services, but the core focus of the domain remains the same. However, AWS services considered to be in a scope for the newer version of the exam, that is CLFC02, has grown drastically. The domain has now been divided into more subtopics to cover cloud, compute, network, storage, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Previous version of the exam didn't cover artificial intelligence and machine learning, so that's a big change with the newer version going forward. Domain 4 has again been renamed from billing and pricing to billing, pricing, and support and it expands the original task statement from CLFC01 exam guide that focused exclusively on billing support to now include technical resources and support options as well. This will include various pricing models AWS uses for its services like on-demand instances, reserved instances, savings plans, dedicated instances, and capacity reservations. So you should also be aware of the different support resources and documentations available from AWS, including white papers, blogs, and the AWS Support Center as well. And there will be things related to different AWS support, support plans, which covers developer, business, enterprise support as well. So, if you are someone preparing uh, for, for this certification in future, now there is something which is available on AWS site uh, already, uh, which is the official practice question set for CLF C02 certification. There is an English, English version for this uh, practice test uh, already available on uh, AWS website. So if you are going to attempt your exam after uh, the, the date when the version is changing, so you might want to enroll in this and get a look and feel and see how the uh, questions are going to look like in future. This is something which I would highly recommend to just get a, uh, a feel of whether there are any cosmetic changes as well in the exam. Uh, uh, apart from uh, change in the syllabus. So folks, this brings me to a question which you all might have, which is, do I need to recertify if I pass current version CLFC01 of the exam? I do not think you will have to reset, reset the uh, updated certification to keep your current one as uh, the certification you get after passing the exam just says AWS certified cloud practitioner and no one in nowhere in the uh, in the certification it is mentioned which version of the exam you took uh, so friends, if you still have any questions related to uh, the change in the version of the exam happening in September, then post them in the comments section and I'll try to get answers to them for you. Uh, so folks, if you 
have liked the video, then hit like so the video reaches the wider audience and everyone is benefited with this upcoming change. Uh, and do not forget to subscribe the channel.